Now we're looking at two victims of two separate crimes. It's you and your burglary, and a man who was badly beaten last night. There's evidence to connect the two. Really? Is he okay? No. He's still unconscious. I wonder, uh, you recognise him? No. Any work done in your house recently? Or jobs, decorating? No. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I've, I've got a meeting. Look, if, um, if this bloke's in a bad way, maybe it's best if, if we leave it. I mean, we've got the watch back, that's the main thing. It's not just about your watch anymore, Mr Robinson. This assault could have cost him his life. Sure, of course it is. You OK to seeing yourselves out? What's the maker in? Bad liar. You recognise Andrew Brandon immediately. Yep. Oh, this place has changed. It used to be an old man's pub. That's what happens when the trendies move in, the oldies move out. There we go. All right. Hello. DC Moss, this is Sergeant Smith. Is the manager about? Oh, he's out. I've got a receipt. Tell me if it's one of yours. The fact it's got E1 scored across the top of it is a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Do you recognise this man who was in there last night? Oh, we were pretty busy. Well, he was assaulted not far from here, and uh, we know he was in here drinking, so do you have CCTV? Sure. Let me get a copy. Yeah, no problem. I suppose you were in here last night, were you? I don't work here. Um, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Bad luck, Smithy. Right. This is all the footage from in here last night. If you need anything else, my name's Pete. I'm a barman. Thanks, Pete. Something wrong? Hi, uh, Jason, Devlin. I'm the manager. I own the place. Sergeant Smith. DC Moss. Uh, you're a barman sorted us out, Mr. Devlin. <laughs> Please, it's Jace. My father, he's Mr. Devlin. Tell you what, it's changed a lot since I was last in here. You will not believe how much it costs to make a place look like you spent no money on it. So, um, what's up? Well, this man got assaulted last night. Apparently he was drinking in here. Were you around? Yeah, I was mainly in the back doing the books. Do you recognise him? Yeah, he was, um, he was here with another fella. They looked like they were having a heavy discussion. One was uh, kind of scruffy, the one in the photo. The other was wearing a suit. It stood out. Any help? We'll look into it. Thanks. There's Andrew Brenham. Is that our man? Uh, no, that's the manager. OK, let's fast forward. Here we go. Talks to him. That's Oliver Robinson. The bloke who owns the watch. Oliver Robinson and Andrew Brennan were out drinking together. Oliver's been lying to us. It was obvious that Oliver Robinson knew Andrew Brennan as soon as he saw his photo. Is there any idea why he lied about it? I'm beginning to wonder whether that watch was stolen in the first place. Go on. Well, Brennan and Robinson were in the bar. And you say that the staff clocked him in a heated discussion, yeah? Yeah, but they didn't hear what was said. Right, but just say when they went outside, this discussion turns into an argument, turns into a fight, and Robinson knocked seven shades out of Brennan for whatever reason. Has Andy Brennan got four? Yeah, no, running through the system and he's clean. If he did lose his watch in that fight, he knows he can't go back and get it because of the state he's left Brennan in. So you think he faked the burglary? He even asked me about the insurance claim. Well, look, this is still all speculation. Before we arrest anyone, I want to get to the bottom of the relationship between Brennan and Robinson. Because to my mind, they don't seem like natural buddies. One's a labourer, the other's middle management in a brewery. So we're back to the idea that Brennan did some work on Robinson's house. How are we doing on witnesses? All right, so far we haven't got anyone that saw Brennan on Mallison Street, but we do have one witness that saw a man in a suit getting into the back of a gold Volvo. Minicab? Could be. What time? Uh, 2120. Did the witness get an index? No, and there's no CCTV on Mallison Street either. 
Sorry, guys. It's going to be a case of trawling through all the CCTV in the surrounding area. Look, I know Andrew's still sedated, but presumably his wife will know what jobs he's done recently, or at the very least be able to give you access to his invoices, receipts. Why don't the two of you head down to the hospital and have a chat with her? Mum. Tell me stable. It's pretty positive. We need to ask you about the people Andrew's been doing some jobs for. Decorating jobs? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, winches about them generally. Never pay him on time. Expect him to sort out parking permits. Does the name Oliver Robinson ring any bells? We know he met with him last night. Oh, I haven't heard that name, but mm, Robinson. Robinson's familiar, is it? it it's Andy's surname. Well, I thought his name was Brennan. It says Brennan on his driver's licence. Brennan's his mum's maiden name. He's been using it for years now. Do you mind me asking why? <sighs> when he was a kid, Andy got into trouble. He ended up in a young offenders. Well, after his release, he found it hard to get work. You know, employers would run a check on him, find out about his past convictions. Well, you know how it is. So Andrew Brennan is really Andrew Robinson? He was. I mean, we're talking 17 years now. So it's possible that Oliver Robinson could be a family member? Oh, I doubt it. His family are dead. You got Andrew's date of birth there? Uh, yeah, yes. Um, 3rd of the... Yeah, um, uh, 3rd of the 5th, 1971. Oh, he's got a few, uh... <laughs> Convictions in the 80s. He's got drugs, theft, and an arson. Yeah, he burnt down the science block of Barton Comprehensive School in 1987. Not so squeaky clean after, was he? We should have a look at this, though. Oliver Robinson. Brother. That was the hospital. Andrew's awake. Do you and Stevie want to head down there? Yes, Mum. It's going to be an interesting conversation, that. Enjoy that. Yeah, Mum. What? Yeah, so not only did Oliver lie about not knowing Andrew, but he failed to mention he was a blood relative. Right, let's get Oliver in. Hmm. Look, I didn't want to get Andy into trouble. That's why I wasn't entirely honest with you. What sort of trouble could you have got him into? Well, he took my watch, didn't he? Did he? If you're not treating him as a suspect, then what am I doing here? Like I told you this morning, Mr Robinson, this is no longer just about your watch. Your brother almost died last night, and you were seen with him just before he was attacked. And you've repeatedly lied to me about not knowing him, so if you were in my position, what would you be thinking right now? Look, if you're suggesting that I attacked Andy, you're wrong. He's gone and got himself caught up in something that's entirely nothing to do with me. What's he got himself caught up in? I really don't know, but he's desperate for money. That's why he keeps hassling me. How long's this been going on? Two months. Is it something new? Hmm. He hasn't told you what he needs the money for? No, he won't. You think it might be something dodgy? Thanks, Colin. Mr Brennan, our primary concern is finding out whoever did this to you. If I could help you there, I would, but... He came at me from behind. Next thing I know, I'm on the floor, face down. And after that, I don't remember a thing. I'm just glad you passed out when you did. Probably saved you a whole lot of pain. 